Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. I am back from Europe and I am recording again so you guys are going to get just a boatload of map tours today. Hopefully six are all going to come out about the same time or something like that. But anyhow, this is a new mod map tour of Spruce Mountain Farms, which I know came out a while ago on the 19th of July. But, and I know most of you guys probably won't have watched this anyways, just because, well, it's been so long and that's okay. But I still want to hop on here since I haven't hopped on this map yet and take a look at it and give it a little tour. So, um, as always, I'm going to start with what it says in the mod up. This is Spruce Mountain's map, or Spruce, geez, Spruce Mountain Farms. This is by Maps by Mako. This is 151.59 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, and the description is, Welcome to Spruce Mountain Farms, a fictional USA map. Um, to the north, you will find large mountains filled with logging areas and many trails for exploring. Some require a 4x4 only to access. Located more central is your starter farm. There you'll find large uh, to extra large fields. Most of the land around your farm is cheap to help in expanding, which this, with while this map is, gosh, can't read either. While this map is mainly set up for large scale farming and forestry uh, to the south, um, you will find a small farm set up with about 21 fields more your size. The map also has stone mining and wood chip removal built in. While this map won't be for everyone, I hope you enjoy Spruce Mountain Farm. So there you go. Um, it has listed features, 42 fields total, over 15 forest areas of BGA uh, productions. A lot of the base game ones. It says stone mining suggests using a stone line production mod. Um, light traffic and pedestrians, built in silo storages, grain west silo and grain pool east. No train though, to be noted. Uh, collectibles added, snow mask added, precision farm ready, loads of default U.S. soil map, uh, or loads default U.S. soil map. So there you go. Okay, very cool. And here we are. We have a truck right next to us here. Uh, well, if we look in here at the map, you see a ton of forest area up here, off-road area only, 4x4 only. We'll take a look at that by flyover. Uh, maybe our truck will make it up there. Um, yeah, so we're in new farmer mode. What do we start off with the new farm mode? It looks like this little chunk of land here. Um, which where are we at? We're down here just up the road from it. So uh, yeah, this chunk of land worth a million bucks. We got field seven, six, eight there. Yeah, and then we own this whole chunk here where it has the, now it does have the train emblem on there for being a grain silo, but again, as noted, there's no train on the map. So um, just be aware of that as what it says in the description. Uh, but yeah, it looks nice. Uh, it's got a lot of different stuff going on here. There are some, ooh, map key over here. Viable forest areas, um, F numbers one, two, three, and so on. So forest areas are all marked by the Fs. Uh, easier path up Spruce Mountain, so this is the easy path. Uh, Off-road path, 4x4 only, that's kind of cool, it's a map. Steep terrain, use caution, so those you got the yellow path through there and through there. Uh, pretty nifty, I like that. It's kind of a unique, uh, I like kind of the background here, kind of unique there. Uh, but anyhow, as we continue, there's your soil map there, very, very standard. Um, then we'll kind of quickly scroll through here um, so you can take a look if you're curious which uh, products will sell at which points. Again, down below, you can use the YouTube uh, features to slow this video down if you want to be able to see these a little bit better, or you can pause when you get to a specific uh, product. But I can see we own a little bit of diesel there, and looks like there's been, for at least most things so far, there's been sell points for them. We own some solid fertilizer and some liquid fertilizer, and then now we're just stones at the bottom. So um, there you go, and we have silo storage for a lot of those different stuff on there and then continuing from there we start off with a lot of equipment which we'll take a look at here in a second in the store in new farmer mode which is what we're in you start off with a hundred thousand dollars and no starting loan um you do start off with mako your horse here which is awesome because it's matt so mako makes sense there's your horse take care of mako that's your, that's your uh, horse pasture there that's what you got um there are contracts of fields you don't own um you don't own any production chains starting out there are 100 collectibles and that's basically what we got and actually let's go down here turn that off for it drives me crazy um, but yeah, okay, so we're going to drive up probably to the, the starter farm here um, and then take a look at some of this stuff around here. There's a wood chip area there and the stone area up there. We'll probably end up taking a look at this area um, in the flyover and this up here in the flyover, the hilltop sawmill. So I'll probably drive up through here, take a look at this, then drive down this part of the map around here, up, and then over, and then finish right out and about and right here. And then we'll fly over the whole map, take a look. And here's all those small fields that were mentioned too in the description um, if you just want some little bitty fields to start out and start that way so very cool a lot of different options on this map uh but yeah okay starting equipment let's go down to our garage here small tractors you have the viewer 6105 under medium you have the massey ferguson mf 3670 you have a case magnum 340 cvx drive you also have a mac pinnacle 6x4 mp8 505 truck for harvesters you have a case axial flow 7150 then you also have a header for that the 3050 teraflex 28 foot then we do have our pickup truck, which is right in front of us. We have a couple of trailers here, Low King Distinction Triple Hopper, and we have the Crampy Halfpipe HP20. 
Um, we also have a Cultivator, the, the Cokerling Vector 800, a Cedar Direct Drill to be noted as well, the Vaderstead Rapid A800S, Fertilizer Spreader and Lime Spreader, we have the Bradle uh, K105. We also have a small mower, we have a small tether, um, we have a small wind drawer, we have a forage wagon here, the Ponger Ferro 4010D. Um, for animals, we have a water trailer, and we also have a trailer for transferring our horses, which made sense, that's what we got starting out. We have a front loader attachment, one of the quickies there, then we also have a front loader bucket for you, a header trailer, um, and then we have a weight, and that is everything. So you got quite a bit of equipment to start off, but let's go ahead and hop in our truck, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot up this row here. Yeah, this takes us right in. This path looks like it's designed to be like a kind of a driving path, but it's very wide, um, I feel like. I mean, it's okay for it to be wide, but it just seems odd with the grass in the middle of it being wide, if that makes any sense at all. Little abandoned barn here down here. And as we continue further up the road. And here we are. Okay, so I'm actually going to turn down the volume for you guys just a touch, just to make sure it's all balanced a little bit better. Okay, there we go. But yeah, if we hop out here, take a look around, we got ourselves our sleep trigger there. A little storage area here, got a little picnic area back here, and then one of our collectibles looks like right there. Boom, beautiful collectible, standard collectible. A little storage area through here, some shelves in there. Different decorations and such like that. Just open up here, sure does. Got this area right here where, oh, this is just kind of, this is your, uh, from like Elm Creek, the uh, barn that has the repair shop and everything. Got your truck and trailer park there. Um, fuel, so we got 2,000 liters of fuel. We got more storage here and even more storage over here as we're working our way around. Trailer parked in here. Drive through shelter. Out the back side, we have our horse pen, it looks like right here. Yep. You can put four more in there if you'd like to. Then this looks like a nice water trigger right here, which is really nice, which it looks like it's even got a nice little area set up to back in here, which is pretty cool. I like that. Like you have a water pump or something. Which that looks exactly literally like that set up to look like that and do that. Pretty cool. Then we have ourselves another storage barn right here. Beautiful. Got a lot of equipment in here. Speed us up just a touch to get through the barn. Come out this way. This is one of our fields. Field 7 looks ready to harvest, which this field is huge. Look how big that field is. And that's our small one. We have 6 and 8. And 6 looks like it's going to be grass, which I'll just confirm that real quick. Yes, six is going to be a grass field. That's actually kind of nice to have a grass field starting out. Um, as we work our way down this way, we have probably some stuff in these things. We got 5,000 liters in this bad boy of solid fertilizer, and we got 500 liters of liquid fertilizer in there. It's a little interesting because we don't have anything to spread that with. A little seed silo there. Header trailer. And we got these guys right over here, a tractor and different stuff set up. Now, this field we do not own. Again, that one we own. We do not own this one. This one is not ours. It's actually Clifford. It's down there in the bottom right hand corner. You can see Clifford Powell. Uh, but anyhow. Uh, more storage here. Lots of storage in this farm. I think that tree's got to go. I don't like that it clips into there, which I feel like the, I don't know. Anyhow, that's the only thing I don't like, but that's a very, like, extremely minor detail. And we got our silo, and then as we continue back around to here, we got kind of this, this structure you guys probably recognize from Elm Creek, and then back up here where our pickup truck's at. So that is kind of your starting farm right through there, and again, we are going to head, we're going to probably just head out this kind of top trail and off that way. So we're going to try to head out the top part of the the map here. It's been so long since I played farm, so it's my first time playing since I got back uh, from Europe. If you guys didn't know, I went uh, to Europe for two weeks. One of the or part of the time I was over there, I was at FarmCon, which was fantastic. Uh, more videos to come. I haven't even posted my vlogs, but go check out Farm Some Guy and DJ Goham. They're there with me. Jeez, and I can't drive anymore either. I mean, that was before, but now I really can't drive after being in Europe. Anyhow. Uh, but yeah, make sure you guys go check out their vlogs because they're really fantastic, really well done. Way better than anything I'm going to put out for sure. But I'm still going to put out some good stuff hopefully for you guys uh, soon. But yeah, up this way, we've got a nice little bridge here. And then actually off to the side, the wood chips, are they on this side of the water? They're kind of in the middle, it looks like. We're going to cut across here real quick just because I want to take a look at what this quote-unquote wood chip area is. If I can actually make it to there. So it says wood chips on here. It's just oh interesting look at that out here on the water just some wood chips for you to collect that's kind of cool i kind of dig that a little weird i think maybe if they're in the water maybe that's not weird maybe that's actually very normal i don't i'm not a forestry expert uh but that's kind of nifty i think that's pretty cool that's some of you guys will hate that and never use it but some of you guys will love it so there you go Miller sawmill, is that what's up here at the top yes yeah, so we got a sawmill up here now again there's the hilltop sawmill probably just a cell point up there and then we have the actual sawmill production point. 
uh, right here at the top, which I like this, or right here at the, I don't know, not the top, not the hilltop one, but it's this one right here. And honestly, that looks like, that looks like that's a pile of wood chips too that you're allowed to move. That's probably true. Um, and then you have, again, just your standard production point here and all that good stuff there. And one thing I am gonna actually uh, adjust with my settings real quick is the engine. Yeah, let's leave that. So I'm just always on, so I can just hop back in and start going right away. But yeah, one drive back down the mountain. Just wanted to hop up here. I mean, we didn't really go off the mountain very high. Uh, we'll hit all of it with a flyover again too, so we'll be able to take a closer look at everything. Easy there, don't wanna to crash too bad. Already crashed several times, but don't need to keep crashing if we can avoid it. Then right up in here, we have ourselves, I believe this is the carpentry point, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, carpentry point right up in here, which is kind of nice. And then we'll head, we're actually just gonna cut through the woods right here onto this trail and take a right here to continue. And then on our left-hand side, right in there, you can see we have um, the hayloft cell point right there, right on the left. So there you go. But now we'll continue out and hope that we'll get some area where there's a little less trees, so it's easier to see around us a little bit more. Yep, here we go. Starting to open up more. It's a big old kind of like placeable area almost on this side here. Can you buy that? Sure can. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, right here on the right hand side, we have the grain mill production grain mill production point right there. So if you wanted to do grain mill productions, you can do it there. And a lot of that, that I mean, look, that looks like the Elm Creek uh, one. So a lot of this stuff is kind of pulled from Elm Creek, but still kind of fits really well into this map since it is, um, after all, an American map. So it works out really well. And as we continue on the right hand side here, we have the screen silo and the lime station. So silo, lime station, all set up right there on the right side in that little parking lot area there for you. And I believe, yep, you already own that starting out. That's part of your starting land there. And again, basically everything's for sale, which is kind of nice. Not everything it looks like maybe, but um, well, actually maybe most of it. Um, but then we have Johnson's Farm Market. That's the sell point right here on the right hand side as they're coming down the map here. So you got that in there, Johnson's Farmer Market. Standard cell point, another standard Elm Creek one there for us. Continue through here. I'm trying to dodge the trees with the camera a little bit so you guys can see some stuff. As we continue out here, we got this bad boy on the right hand side. We have our cereal factory. Then up here, we have the Southern Valley Biomass Energy. So um, the BGA, we're actually probably going to, let's just drive up there. I want to take a look at the BGA as we drive through. So we'll take this right here uh, just to do a quick loop of the BGA area. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here since it looks like there's going to be yeah, a lot of trees through here. but. Yeah, we'll just drive up through the BGA area. So you can take a left or right here. We'll act like we want to, no, actually no, we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way, there we go. This will take us a little loop around into the BGA and out. Actually, it'd be pretty easy to get fairly large equipment and trucks up in here, which is kind of nice. South Valley, here's kind of the main entrance. Got some water over there, but again, that's off the map. This is all kind of the stuff on the map, so there you go. Your BGA point right here. There you go. And we'll take a right here to head the opposite way that we came in. And this again just takes us right back out the main road, theoretically speaking. Then we'll take a right, and then on the right hand side, as we take a right here, we're going to start seeing all these kind of little, little fields. These little circular ones are kind of nifty. Almost like the ones you'd have, like uh, the irrigation circular things in the middle, though. Those are pretty small to have those even. Um, and some really small fields down here. Lots of area for you to kind of expand to what you want to do down here. Now as we're driving, we have, oop, geez, if I can click on it, the Feed and Grain South cell point right here, and then we have a gas station. So Feed and Grain South is right here on the right-hand side. And then next up, we have the gas station. And then again, as we continue, we're gonna drive up this way, up past this way. And this is the actual BGA. So this is just, I guess, a biomass energy cell point. This is your actual BGA here. I guess I should correct myself there. I apologize for that. Any confusion there? We just passed the gas station there. Some more smaller fields on the right-hand side here. In case you wanted to do kind of some more small, small scale farming until you expand it out or anything like that. And on the right hand up this way, this takes you up to the animal dealer cell point and the animal dealer itself right up that way, up through the trees in there. We curve around this way. This is the actual BGA, which we'll just pop in here real quick just to take a quick look around if I can do it without crashing too bad. Yeah, so it looks like just kind of your standard BGA from like, again, Elm Creeks, which makes sense. So there you go. Oop, of course, I hit, had to hit something. Come on now, truck, you can do it. Get us around here. Get us out of here. Yeah, just kind of your standard BGA. 
and then up through here this kind of takes us into town which again there's a lot of stuff going on here so right here on the left hand side as we're coming in we have the spinnery then up ahead we have the oil mill and the great processing unit so uh, you can see the oil mill is going to be one of these tall buildings right here not this first one but the second one let's not get head-on collision here so oil mill and then you have the great processor here continue up a little bit further just up the road here we have the debris crusher which is in this kind of parking lot here on the right hand side you can see it in there Ooh, lucky I dodged that. And then right here, the right hand side, we have ourselves the dairy production facility. And if we continue to kind of make a loop around town here, we'll head back through this way. We're going to take that right here in a, in a bit, but first let's head back in here to take a look at all the different cell points we got. On the left hand side right there, we got the fast food restaurant cell point. Might go this way a little bit more. Yeah, fast food restaurant cell point right there. And then we also have the stone sales and the bakery. So right through here stone sales on oh, excuse me on the left hand side and the bakery you can see just in the far side there uh so there you go that's kind of the the town it literally is labeled town area on the map too which oh jesus smoke that person they're gone sorry 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 everyone trying to keep it rated pg but i just accidentally killed that person <laughs> um it's not funny <laughs> anyhow continuing on map tour is continuing uh, right here we have the vehicle shop which is kind of nice and we got a repair trigger uh, right over there on the other side if we continue out the other side of the vehicle shop without killing anyone else there we go avoid those pedestrians take a left and then if we curve a right this way takes us up this way here and then right here our final little chunk of the, the path we have central export cell point and then another grain silo for us to use but there you go that is the map let's go ahead and pop and do a quick fly over here okay so when my main critiques i go too high on the flyover so i'm gonna try to stay a little bit lower i um, mean i know some people prefer different things but it just kind of is what it is so we're gonna start down here bottom corner of the map so down here again we have the animal dealer see that right through here animal dealer cell point animal dealer itself then we have our biogas or our biomass plant or biogas energy plant bga uh set up right here this is the production bga then as we head up we'll head up this way we got the main town area which again has all those various cell points and i'm not going to point them all out since we kind of already did that but again it's got all those cell points in it and right over there you can see the vehicle shop in the distance lots of forestry and i like the little details like this because it looks like there's kind of other farms going on and stuff like that which um can you actually buy all this land yeah you can buy all that if you wanted to you can buy pretty much anything it looks like which is super nice so i like that and then we kind of get up here into the cool area the forestry area so you see we got some various trails which are look at these trails this is wild this one's one of the red four by four trails oh geez i gotta slow down a little bit here but look at this this would be cool to kind of try to four by four offer i mean taking the tlx like 3500 through this with some big old tires on it that would be a ton of fun so this is i mean this is ridiculous but this is super cool that's such a cool feature honestly some of you guys can say, hey, that's just obnoxious. You can't get through that. But I mean, you can if you have the right equipment and there's other ways around as well. They're not forcing you to do that. So um, that's what I kind of like about it. We'll get a little glitchy up here. Got our fire watch tower or a little lookout tower, however you want to put it. And then down, just down here, we have stone. So if you want to, you can basically do what they would say is stone mining. So you're just scooping the stone out of here and doing whatever you want with it. So there you go really beautiful canyon area in here which again this looks very similar to elm creek i think this is actually it's taken from there but regardless of that still got the tunnel and all that which is very cool to see it on here some campsites i'm getting lost up here in the detail um but yeah we're kind of up in here and then this is this is what they said is their main off-road area up here which is super cool yeah a lot of cool stuff so if you kind of wanted to do some like role play outdoorsy kind of stuff this would be almost a perfect map for that which is really cool and then again, where's actually that cell point? We didn't take a look at that cell point while we we're up here. Where is that cell point? It's right there. There's that cell point right there for us. And look at that trail. They want you to drive up that thing. That is out of control. That is so... <laughs> oh, what a challenge. That's so cool. Okay, very cool. I like that. Some of you guys will hate it, but others of you will think that's super cool. There's your wood chip area down there. There's your actual sawmill production point, carpentry point there. Your starting farm right through here. Beautiful. And there's your kind of hayloft cell point. Yeah, and get your harvester sitting out there. So again, that field is huge. And you own that one. You also own this field right here. And then you own that grass field right there. So you got plenty of space to be farming. 
And we got again, sell point out here, a big placeable area if you wanted to do that, do your own kind of productions and stuff like that. Try to get a little bit lower here. We just passed a silo and a line point, which is that area right there. Um, through here, what do we got here? Is, is a sell point down here? Can't remember now. Uh, yeah, sell point, Johnson's Farmer Market. Biomass energy plants here. You got some more forest areas in here if you wanted to use those. We have ourselves a production point right here. What is it? The cereal factory, cereal factory right below us there. And then we got this cool little area with all the small fields, some round fields through here, some smaller ones through here, um, more cell points and such like that. And then we got more small fields through there, which is super cool. And then as we head towards the center of the map, you got mostly your farms in here. Really, there's not a whole lot left to show off. We got the store and um, the silo there and our cell point. But yeah, there you go. That is Spruce Mountain's farm, which are Spruce Mountain Farms, which is really cool. Really, really well done. So I like that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bells so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.